Howdy, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center. Today, discussing what should be discussed during an MS clinic visit. There's a lot to cover when someone with MS is meeting with their clinician, and all too often things can be forgotten or jostled or left alone, and then you might not see them again for three or six months or maybe even longer in some cases. Today's video lays out a bare minimum of what we think we should be discussing with every patient in every clinic visit. Item number one. Since we last saw you, do you have any new neurological symptoms? Or do you have any old neurological symptoms that have gotten much worse? Number two. Energy levels, how are they? Better than last time, worse than last time, stable? Uh, is energy a major problem for you? Are you getting by? Are you barely getting by? What medicines are we using uh, or therapies are we considering to optimize your energy? Number three, mood. People with MS, are twice as likely to experience depression. They're also at increased risk of anxiety, and these problems can color everything ugly, and they can impact quality of life and function and even MS outcomes. It's very important that we're asking people with MS how they're doing with their mood. Oftentimes, if they bring a care partner, a loved one with them, we also want to ask them their opinion because they're seeing their loved one from the outside looking in. Talk about mood with every visit. Four, cognition, thinking and memory. Any new problems at home or at work? Are you noticing that things are harder for multitasking or processing quickly? And asking about cognition is one of the most important invisible symptoms of MS that we could discuss. Five, bladder. Any new issues with urgency, Frequency, waking up at night to go to the bathroom? Are you having any hesitancy, trouble getting the urine out? How are things with the bladder? Is it better than last time, worse than last time? Are we using medicines to manage it, and how are you tolerating those? Number six, have you fallen since the last time we saw you? If you fall frequently, how often? Under what conditions are you falling? And do you identify any triggers or issues that might be contributing to it? Seven, work. If you work, how are things going? Are you getting accolades? Are you getting written up? Are you having more problems doing things? Do you have concerns? Do you need or have accommodations at work? Have you missed work because of MS? If you're in school, you can ask the same questions. Someone who stays at home, we want to explore their activities of daily living to see if they've changed. Number eight, related to disease modifying therapy. Are you on MS medicine? Are you taking your MS medicine? How often do you forget to take it or does something happen where you don't take it? Are you having any new side effects from the MS medicine? Are you tolerating it well? In your opinion, is that working for you? Are you having any issues in paying for your MS medicine? These are important questions that we want to ask with each visit. And there you have it. Let's get the most out of our MS clinic visits and make sure that we're not missing things. With each visit, we want to ask new or worsening neurological symptoms, energy, mood, cognition, bladder, falls, work, and how's the MS medicine going? Once again, it's Aaron Boster with the Ohio Health MS Center. Thank you for listening to this. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.